My name is Jim Kincher. I'm the chairman of the Department of Anesthesiology at the University of Kansas Hospital. You know, I'm impressed at how well patients are beginning to look at healthcare performance. Um, patients will access the internet, they will look at data that is collected on the performance of hospitals and identify the strengths of different hospitals. One way that you can do that is looking at risk-adjusted mortality, and that will help you identify hospitals that are performing better than expected versus hospitals that may not be performing in an exemplary manner. I think one important reason hospitals use risk-adjusted mortality as an index of their quality of care is it allows hospitals that perform different levels of complexity to rate themselves as far as how well they take care of patients. At the University of Kansas Hospital, we take care of some of the most complex illnesses and patient conditions that there are. It's important that we understand how well we are improving those patients' lives, and the risk-adjusted mortality allows us to do that. That would be one thing that I would want to make sure if I went to a hospital that they showed your mortality rate is very low and you're likely to do very well in that hospital. I think the value of using mortality scores and looking at an institution is it tells you the institution's commitment to the best possible care. If we have risk-adjusted mortality that demonstrates we can take care of very, very sick patients and do an outstanding job, think what that would translate to when you have something less complicated. How the team can certainly do the very difficult things, the less challenging things then clearly can be addressed with that same teamwork and approach. I think in an academic center, there's a balance between the educational component and the time, the maybe extra time it takes when uh, residents and medical students are there learning with the focus of outstanding patient care, satisfaction, and outcomes. At the University of Kansas Hospital, I believe we're unique in the way we have melded these two missions into a very functional and very high-performing organization. Uh, measures as patient satisfaction or mortality rates show that the patients believe this is among the best hospitals in the country, uh, even compared to private practice uh, community hospitals. Together with that, we also provide that academic focus, the pushing the limits and advancing healthcare um, with the new technologies and the research that we have. So you're really getting the advantages of both put together in a very, very well-focused system. One difference that you'll find at the University of Kansas Hospital is the patient feels that they have been taken care of at among the finest private institutions in the country. On the same hand, the patient also is getting that innovative approach, that academic pursuit, uh, the quest for better care that you find in an academic center. So pulling those two things together at the University of Kansas Hospital gives the patient a very big advantage in how they are taken care of. The physicians in an academic medical center are very different. They look at things differently, they think differently, they approach uh, problems with a different mindset. Um, at the University of Kansas Hospital, we're constantly learning, learning new techniques, researching new ways to deliver care, and we do it in a, an a approach that uses uh, multidisciplinary communication. So I don't work purely by myself as a physician in the operating room. I work with the surgeons both before and after the case. I consult with other physicians on ways that we might uh, improve the care of that patient. We're constantly pushing the envelope of how we can do things to make sure patients uh, do well. The difference at an academic medical center is the teaching component and research aspect of this facility brings new ideas to the care of the patient at the bedside. Medical students, residents, other professionals in training are part of the team that is looking at what we can do to improve the care of patients and constantly striving for new areas of performance to deliver better outcomes for those patients.
You know, I think the title Advancing the Power of Medicine truly is important and represents what we do at the University of Kansas Hospital. It's not so much about the care that is delivered today, but it's about the care that we're developing for tomorrow, the new techniques, the new approaches that we're providing for healthcare um, that is really the future for patients and for medicine.